A lobster tank in a restaurant is four feet long by three feet wide by two feet deep. Find the water force on one of the largest sides of the tank. All right, now this is referring to force on the side of the tank. So it's hydrostatic force is what we're worried about. So that's hydrostatic. Remember that's different than the force that you would get, say, when you're doing work. This is like pressure, like if you put your finger in how much pressure pounds per square inch is my finger pushing, that's force. So you can have force straight down, you can have force to the side. This is how much something water is pushing on the side of something. So again, when you work these problems, drawing diagrams and things like that helps out a great deal. So I'm going to draw a diagram of my tank. So it's four feet long, three feet wide, two feet deep. Okay, so I might draw my tank best as I can. Now, so this is four, three, two. And we want to find the water force on the larger side of the tank. So it's going to be on this side. Force on this side, because that's the largest side. Now, we know several things from past classes, and if you weren't in my class, then uh, let me move this around so I can write better. Then you can always Google it, but I will tell you that uh, water has a certain kind of density because of its nature. So we know water has density. of 62.4 H pounds per square foot. Now, I'm going to use D for density. Now, what does that mean? So let's say I have a cubic, well, a cubic size cube. So each size is one foot, one foot, one foot. And I fill it with water. This thing will weigh 62.4 water weighs 62 pounds per 62.4 pounds per cubic foot. So that means that the water poured into this thing right here is going to weigh 62.4 pounds. Now, if I just imagine extending this cube up, okay, so the base of this is still one by one, but now I have a big long a big long strip of water, I'm pouring it in. Now all the pressure on the bottom is what's changing. So that's why depending on how deep this is, let's say how deep it is H wise, I know that that's going to be 62.4 pounds per square foot on the bottom. Now that's where that number is coming from. 62.4 pounds per square foot at H feet deep. So that's where that's coming from. Water weighs 62.4 pounds per cubic foot. If I think about extending that cubic foot straight up, that changes the pressure on the bottom to 62.4 H pounds per square foot. All right, so that's where all that comes from. That's where I'm going to use this now. So now if I think about just taking a look at that one side and continuing on with my problem, the force on the side, this is four feet long. This is two feet high. And I'm always going to measure my slice, how deep it is from the top. So again, you still want to slice it, how deep my slice is from the top. And again, you're looking just at the side. So since the density of the water that we're working with is pounds per square foot, I just need to find the area of my slice. So area of my slice at depth H feet is just simply going to be length times width. Now if this is H deep, that means that the thickness of my slice is going to be delta H, so my width is delta H. And my length is always going to be, no matter where I slice this thing, my, eight, my width, length is always going to be four, four feet. 
So I know that if I take density of my slice times area of my slice, that's going to be pounds per square foot times square foot. And that'll give me then in the end the force that I want on just my slice, which is pounds. Force is always measured in terms of pounds, like weight. Yeah, the amount of force that you have due to gravity is what your weight is in pounds. So if I take everything that I have now, my density is 62.4 H. My area is 4 times delta H. That's going to give me my force on my slice, which is exactly what I want. Now I come over here and I think about integrating it. Now. Think about this H right here. And if I have to measure the force of a slice that's at the very top, you have to think about what the value of H is. If the slice is at very top, H is zero. And if I'm measuring the force of the slice in the very bottom, H is going to be two. So that means that I'm going to integrate 62.4 times four times H dh. And again, that's very, very, very simple to integrate. You integrate this though, you do it by hand just to check, and your answer should turn out to be 499.2 pounds. So along the side of that tank, all the water pressure together turns out to be 499.2 pounds of pressure.